Conservative commentator Hugh Hewitt has chimed in on the shooting that took place in Santa Fe, Texas. And he has an interesting strategy for preventing a shooting like this from happening in the future. Take a listen. To the teachers and administrators out there, you know, the, the trench coat's kind of a giveaway. You might just say no more trench I mean, Just the creepy people make a list, check it twice. Creepy is an interesting word to use, especially given the photo in that graphic. All right, but uh, <laughs> so uh, onto the uh, trenchant observation he made, if you will. Oh, jeez. Um, so to be fair, there has now been two school shootings where there were trench coats, uh, Columbine and this latest one in Santa Fe High School. Um, in all the other ones, the, uh, and, and those ones as well, the connecting factor, shockingly enough, was not trench coats, it was the guns. Uh, there, in all the school shootings, there were guns. In two out of the now hundreds that have happened, there were trench coats. Now, who would make that point unless their purpose was to deceive? And look, Hugh Hewitt, for all of his downsides, is not a dumb guy. There's plenty of that in the right wing, but he's not among them. He's intelligent enough to know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He knows that there was trench coats in two of the shootings, but there was guns in all of the shootings. He says that point. Because he doesn't want you to focus on the guns. That's the one that pays for all the right wing. The NRA goes around paying off all these people and they bow down to the NRA. Well, the trench coat industry didn't bribe any of the media guys on the uh, right wing and they're not doing the propaganda. The video game people didn't do it. Mm -hmm. So they can attack video games, they can attack trench coats. And Hugh Hewitt has to be bright enough to know that that's a preposterous point. But he makes it in any way just to make sure that you don't touch their beloved guns that are actually doing the kills. By the way, I'm not sure, to be fair, did, the, did this particular shooter smother anyone with his trench coat? Maybe he killed a couple of people with a trench coat, wrapped them a little too tight in that trench coat. Oh no, right, it was the, the guns that killed the people. Do we go so far as to banning uh, baggy hoodies? because you might be able to hide a gun in a baggy hoodie. Like again, it all goes back to us being inconvenienced, okay? And living in, a, in an ever so rapid police state where all of our privacy is being violated, all of our uh, freedom of expression is being like monitored. We have to dress a certain way. We have to walk into schools a certain way. We have to deal with metal detectors. We have to deal with cops, you know, uh, patting us down everywhere we go. Like when do we get to live in a free society? Because you're not really free in America if you constantly have to be inconvenienced because politicians don't want to do anything about guns. Last piece of this superb logic. The clothing that you can hide the guns in is a problem. The gun you're hiding is not a problem. The gun you take out and shoot people with and murder people with, not the problem. The clothing that you hid that non-dangerous weapon in is the problem. Hugh Hewitt, brilliant logic, we appreciate it. Two easy ways to follow Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.